the base of the tree is 3 inch ABS plastic. I staked it with 60 penny nails in the corners. There's no glue on this joint. Because my grass is sloped, I adjusted angles and kept this to be level. So it sets in. This is the first seven and a half foot pole. It goes up to the slip joint where I have quarter inch eye bolts for the first set of guy wires, which is the middle. Then we go to the second seven and a half foot ABS going up to the topper. Now the topper is two half inch pieces of plywood, Killex painted, and it has 20 eye bolts. The eye bolts are very close, they're staggered. Let's see if I can zoom in close enough to show it. And that's because I wanted the lights to be as clustered at the top as possible. I think the topper is only 12 inches in diameter. The star that's on top of the tree, a coral star, has three quarter inch PVC pipe. And it has a three quarter inch oak dowel going down through the center. I used aluminum angle brackets to provide support for the wind. We had 30 mile an hour winds last night and everything's still here so it must have worked. And then at the very top are three more guy wires to support. So this is the 15 foot tall tree. Now at the end of each of my strings I have half inch EMT pipe and I've cable tied the flex strip all the way up the pipe. At the end of the pipes I have a three inch length of oak dowel that I drove in and on the bottom I have eye bolts that have screwed in that I use to attach bungee cords. I didn't want to create too much force so there's just a little bit of slack in this. It takes up uh, when there's wind. And I attach the smart string controllers at the bottom. I have a three quarter inch EMT pipe. It's from my half mega tree. And I have all of the smart controllers at the bottom. Used half inch rebar because my yard is uneven, this allows me to get the bottom of the tree to be level. If I need to repair a string, like one of these, the cable ties broke as connection, I can undo it here. And it's a hook at the top. I can just remove one section, repair it, and then rehook it. So it's easy to take them up and down.